he could in fact be Jack the Ripper. This part is super creepy. Are you Jack the Ripper? Can you not? Thanks, son. I don't want them strangling me. Thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. I am currently in Melbourne, Australia, and I'm about to take you down one of the most haunted streets in the city, thought to contain the ghost of a serial killer. So let's go check it out. Guys, we are just walking down Hoysa Lane and this place is pretty well known within Melbourne for being a hub for street art. So you can probably guess just by looking around me, there's a lot of cool graffiti down here and there's a lot of just kind of random tags and such. But this is also thought to be one of the most haunted places in the city. What is interesting is it's actually thought to be haunted by a Jack the Ripper suspect. This guy was known as Frederick Bailey Deeming and he was executed in the late 1800s at the nearby Old Melbourne Jail. He was hanged there for murdering his wife, though he's also thought to have murdered his first wife and four children back in England where he started his life. It was also in London Whitechapel around the time that these Jack the Ripper murders took place there. So some people have paired that together and speculated that he could in fact be Jack the Ripper. I'm actually planning to visit the Old Melbourne Jail I also visited all the murder sites for Jack the Ripper in London and hopefully I'm going to have videos on these places in the future. So if you're keen on seeing those, make sure you hit subscribe. So this guy who possibly is Jack the Ripper is thought to haunt this alleyway. So people have reported to come down here, usually men, and feel unseen icy cold hands wrap around their throat and start to strangle them, which is pretty darn creepy. But people have also seen a dark shadow figure shape like a man down this alleyway which suddenly disappears as soon as they look at it so they reckon that this is that Frederick Bailey deeming and it's kind of interesting and if Jared Swivel's around we'll catch a ghost on camera <laughs> all right guys while we're looking for a good spot to do a spirit box we may as well check out some of the street art here I can already see like a Momo type character speaking of stranglers This is Sonic. Evil looking Sonic. Super evil. Some of the street art's really, really cool down here. Jared used to love playing Sonic all the time. I think we have just found the creepiest part of the alley. It's so dark and creepy back there. I don't even want to go back there, but you know, we're going to. I do think as well, if I was a serial killer or a serial killer ghost, I think I'd definitely be hanging out here. So that's where we're going to try spirit box. Okay guys, I'm probably in the darkest, creepiest part of this alley. And we're gonna try and reach out to the resident ghost here who is believed to be Frederick Bailey Deeming, Jack the Ripper suspect. And I'm gonna be using my spirit box. I'm not sure we'll get any responses, but I mean, it's worth trying, we're here. And this place has an interesting dark history and quite a few ghost sightings. So definitely worth trying. Hi, my name is Amy. I'm looking to talk to anyone who might exist in this alleyway. Specifically, I want to talk to Frederick. Can you come close to me and say hello? Why are you in this alley? Why did you come to Melbourne? Why do you show yourself to people here in this alley? I just 
had a very faint voice, but I don't think it's anything. What happened to your wife? Or should I say wives? Did you hurt them? Is that why you came to Melbourne? Did you come here to escape your crimes? Are you Jack the Ripper? Why are you hurting people here? Why are you trying to strangle people? Did you murder anyone in Whitechapel, London? here? If you are here, can you come close to me and use this device in my hands to speak? I would like to speak to you if you are here. Can you say hello, your name? A lot of people seem to think that you haunt this alley. Can you prove to me that you do? Come and speak. Are you still here to hurt people? Do you derive pleasure from that? If you are here to hurt people and you like to strangle men, can you come and wrap your hands around the man that's with me? What? Sorry, Jared. <laughs> I feel like it just went to say something. Can you strangle him? We're not supposed to do that. Why not? What is your wife's name? You had two wives. You're said to have murdered them both. Alright. You're not going to say something, we're going to have to go. Thank you. All right, so we weren't really getting much through that one, so I think that we're gonna have to kind of wrap it up and maybe move on to our next haunt. But yeah, maybe Frederick really isn't here or maybe just doesn't like me and doesn't want to speak to me or Jared, I guess. So Jared's not happy that I asked the ghost to strangle him. But I'm sorry, the ghost is said to only strangle dudes, so I yeah, had to try. So what is this? Why were you asking them to because I want something to happen. Hands around my neck or something? What was that about? Well, the ghosts, the guys in this alley are said to feel icy cold hands wrap around their throats or their necks and start strangling. So I thought maybe it would like you. Well, can you not next time? I don't want them strangling me. I thought you didn't even believe in this anyway. I don't, but if, if they are there, I don't want them strangling me. Oh, come on. Whatever, Jared. He chose this life. <laughs> what? You asked me to marry you. Get out. This place really is cool to check out. If you guys are in Melbourne, I highly recommend it.
guys. So I'm actually going to take you to another haunted location, which is just around the corner from this one. And that one actually has a pretty disturbing and scary ghost story. There's not heaps that I can do with this location because it's a public place. It is quite loud. Uh, so I did the spirit box. There's also a little bit of a homeless community uh, that lives on this street, which is quite sad. And I almost feel like I'm walking through these guys' lounge room, if that makes sense. So I don't want to be here too late or make too much noise or be too intrusive to them. So we're going to head over to the next one. But yeah, I'm excited to tell you about this one. guys the Young and Jackson pub and hotel is just across the road from me it's one of the oldest pubs here in Melbourne and it is our next haunted destination it's super loud here though so I think I'm gonna have to switch to voiceover Amy to tell you this one's ghost story destination 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 Young and Jackson sits on a corner in the heart of Melbourne it is one of the city's oldest pubs yet it is also thought to be one of the city's most haunted places during the late 19th century, there were many murders in this area. Mostly these were vicious attacks on prostitutes that led to the deaths of several women. Ever since, and to this day, many people have reported to see the apparition of a woman standing against a lamppost outside of the pub. These reports detail the woman as being very beautiful and dressed in period clothing, though on closer inspection of the woman, she always appears to have her throat slit. Many people believe her to be the ghost of an unnamed murder victim from that area. Alright guys, I hope that you enjoyed learning about this one's ghost stories. I'm going to go inside because I think we earned a beer. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to do more reading on any of the haunted places I visited, head to amyscrypt.com. You guys can also follow me at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you so much for tuning in, Crypt Keepers. Until next time.